Dr. Wildcat. So we're looking at journal page 11, dividing polynomial expressions. Example 1. x divided by x is 1. Example 2. Divide x squared plus 8x divided by 2x. Well, x squared can be written as x times x, and that's divided by 2x plus 8x divided by 2x, because both of these terms are being divided by 2x. Well, we know from example 1 that x divided by x is 1. x divided by x is 1. So we have x divided by 2 plus 8 divided by 2 is 4. All right, go ahead and finish up example 2. All right, example 3. So we're dividing all of these terms in the numerator divided by 10x. So we have 5. We know that x cubed is x times x times x, and that's divided by 10x plus x squared is x times x, and that's divided by 10x plus 3x divided by 10x plus 4 divided by 10x. Well, 5 divided by 10 reduces to be 1 half. x divided by x is 1, leaving x times x, which is x squared, plus x divided by x is 1, leaving x divided by 10, plus x divided by x is 1, which leaves 3 tenths, which does not reduce. Plus 4 tenths divided by x can be written as 2 times 2 divided by 2 times 5x. And the reason we say that is because we can see that 2 divided by 2 is 1, meaning that 4 divided by 10x reduces to be 2 divided by 5x. All right. Go ahead and finish up example three. All right, example four. Divide. X plus five divided by X. So that means we have X divided by X plus five divided by X because each term in the numerator is divided by X in the denominator. Well, we know X divided by X is one. So that's one plus five divided by X does not reduce. So it's just five divided by X. All right, go ahead and finish up example four. All right, let's take a look at example five. So that's 28x divided by 7x plus 56 divided by 7x. Well, we know x divided by x is 1. 28 divided by 7 is 4, so that's 4 <laughs> plus... 56 divided by 7x is 8 divided by x. All right, go ahead and finish up example 5. All right, let's take a look at example 6. So 40x plus 15 divided by 4x is 40x divided by 4x plus 15 divided by 4x. Well, 40 divided by 4 is 10. x divided by x is 1. Plus 15 divided by 4x is not reduced, so it's just 15 divided by 4x. All right, go ahead and finish up example 6. All right, let's take a look at example 7. <coughs> now, this is unique in that we have 5x plus 10 divided by x plus 2. Well, we can actually divide out a 5 from each term here. So 5x plus 10 can be written as 5. If we divide 5 by both terms, we can rewrite this as 5 times x plus 2. Because 5 divided by 5 is x and 10 divided by 5 is 2. So we can factor out a 5 from each term. And if you just want to redistribute to verify that, 5 times x is 5x. And then 5 times 2 is plus 10. So we can rewrite 5x plus 10 as 5 times x plus 2. 
and then that's divided by x plus 2. Well, you'll notice anything divided by itself is 1, so x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 is 1, so you're just left with 5. All right, go ahead and finish up example 7. All right, same thing here. We can divide a number from 24x plus 27, and I believe that number is 3. So if you factor out a 3, that's 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8, so that's 3 times 8x plus 27 divided by 3 is 9. And you can verify that. 3 times 8x is 24x plus 3 times 9 is plus 27. So we can rewrite 3 times 8x plus 9. I'm sorry, we can rewrite 24x plus 27 as 3 times 8x plus 9. So we have 3 times 8x plus 9 divided by 8x plus 9. Well, you'll see here that anything divided by itself is 1, so this divides and becomes 1, and that equals 3. All right, go ahead and finish up example 8. All right. Let's take a look at example 9. Divide 27x plus 3. All right, same thing. It looks like we can divide out a 3 from each of these terms. So 27x plus 3 can be written as 3 times, well, 27 divided by 3 is 9x plus 3 divided by, remember, I'm dividing each of these by 3 when I write that. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. So I can write 27x plus 3 as 3 times 9x plus 1. And you can see that 9x plus 1 divided by 9x plus 1 is 1, so you're left with that equal to 3. All right, go ahead and finish up example 9. All right, let's take a look at example 10. So we have 16. Now remember, x squared is x times x. That's divided by x squared, which is x times x, plus 4 divided by x times x. Well, x divided by x is 1. 1, so you're left with 16 plus, this doesn't reduce, so that's 16 plus 4 divided by x squared. All right, go ahead and finish up example 10. All right, let's take a look at example 11. Divide. So we have 21x squared, remember that's 21x times x, divided by 7 times x times x, plus 10 divided by 7 times x times x. Well, we know that x divided by x is 1, 1. 21 divided by 7 is 3, plus 10 divided by 7 times x times x can't reduce, so it's 10 divided by 7x squared. All right, go ahead and finish up your examples. Start working on your HRW assignment, and have a wonderful Wildcat day.